Thank you for joining in and for today's video I am going to be showing you how to create that cute little Halloween gnome and we're going to get started with the drawing first. So I kept this really easy. I'm just using my 2B pencil there and I'm going to make an oval shape for the nose and then I'm going to extend two lines coming down the sides and this is going to be like the bottom of the hat. And I'm going to leave this drawing in real time for those of you who are following along. So we're just going to come up top for the point and then down around the other side. So you should have like a nice cone shape. And then next we're going to start the beard. So you're going to come down and around and then meet at the bottom there. And next up I'm going to put um, a small little hump, one on each side for the legs. And then right underneath the edge of the beard there, I'm just going to make another, think of it like a C shape, a little curve there. That'll be for his bottom. And just make sure you're going to leave room for the shoes. And they're just going to be a simple oval shape. So very similar to the nose. And when you're done with that, we're going to come back up and start the arms. Very simple shape. And then we're just going to make um, a straight line, almost like it has little mittens on. They're going to be orange while the sleeves are black. So you're going to need a line for the separation there. And up top for the hat, I went ahead and I drew two small ghosts and one little jack-o'-lantern. And then as an extra detail, I added a little spider hanging from the top of the hat. I went back and forth between two different brushes. Um, my size 8 I have there and a size 6. My 6 is a little bit more pointy so I did end up using that a little bit more than the, um, the silver black velvet size 8 one just because that one it doesn't get on that crisp edge sometimes for me so I would recommend whatever brush you have that you can get a a nice point there because some of the details are just super super tiny in this one and I'm going to use black first since there is quite a bit of that so we're going to start off with the shirt
Once you're done with your bottom, we're gonna let that dry up a little bit and I'm gonna move up to the hat. I am using um, my fine liner there, which is waterproof. And again, because there's just so many details and everything is so tiny on this one, I'm gonna do an outline and then fill in the eyes and a little bit with the jack-o'-lantern here, just cause it's a lot easier with the pen. And after you have your outline, you can go back to your black watercolor and then finish up with the hat. For the beard, I am just, um, I watered down the black a lot, so then I had like a nice shade of gray, and then I'm just making a few strokes here just to show um, a few of the hairs, give it a little bit more detail, and then rinse your brush and just use the water itself to blend it out a little bit. And for the nose, I did use a peach, but you can feel free. I've also seen some cute ones where they use like green for a witch. So whatever color you want it to be, you can, you can fill in your nose there. It was peach on the sample photo that I had from the internet. So that's what I was just going with there. And then we're gonna let that dry up and then move on to like the bright orange for the hands and the feet. Moving back up to the hat, you can use whatever orange you have. If you have some brush pens or I have a watercolor crayon there, you can feel free to use those.
that is it for today's tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and let me know if you'd like more gnomes because I thought it would be fun to do maybe some, like I said, a witch one or a couple different ones maybe for fall. And so leave a comment down below and I'll see you next time.